Yeah, have you heard the rumors? Read about the attempted kidnappings on Facebook or other social media. Rumors that human traffickers are on the prowl for victims in the Houston area. Those rumors were taking advantage of the reality that the Houston region has a lot of human trafficking going on. But the word last week was that traffickers were pushing in windows of cars to cause drivers to stop or leaving zip ties as signs that they were being targeted and much more. The huge problem with all of this is that it's not true. Here to talk about the truth about the holiday human trafficking hoaxes and much more, Rania Mancarios, the CEO of Crime Stoppers of Houston. Thank you for being here. And James Dale, the Houston Police Department Vice Division Commander. Now, I imagine both of your organizations getting uh, a lot of calls about this trafficking stuff last week. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of stuff do we need to know? Our region, we know that trafficking is going on, but there's a lot of things that have been, been talked about the last week or so, just not true. you finding it out on the ground from your division, correct? Correct. Uh, we had an internal email that went out. Out, uh, about a white van to be on the lookout and when we researched it further we found out that was a hoax and so how we we take every tip that we get very seriously and we have to follow up on it but what we want to do is create that you know be aware of what's going on out there know your surroundings if you see something that looks whether you feel it's trafficking or not please call us but you know we're trying to separate fact from fiction and crime stoppers i know you're one of those uh, calls that people make all the time yes. what kind of feedback were you getting from the community about this particular issue and what are you telling them yeah well on the one hand we were getting inundated with calls which is good because people are concerned and they're paying attention and they're being public safety minded but we don't want people to run with these hoaxes. We don't want people to become paranoid. We don't want them to feed into a false narrative that ultimately over time, when it's continually disproven, disproven, dis people start to toss these ideas out the window. You know, human trafficking is not really an issue here. No, it is, but it's not an issue in that way. Mm. So let's talk about the real problems and the real things we want people to be concerned with and not pay too much attention to the hoaxes. So when they hear that, the suggestion is that don't believe it, well, vet it. You yeah. know, a lot of people are so quick to share it. And, and I was asked, why do people share it? I think it's genuine. They, they right. care about the community. But vet it. We have an incredible law enforcement community. Um, HPD, you can call. You can call Crime Stoppers. You can call neighborhoods, retailers where incidents are happening. Vet Takes it. up time, of course, but it's something you'd rather do as opposed to letting this thing continue. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they, 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 they focus on something. And the social media can be used for great things, but without establishing it and, and vetting it and finding out if it's true or not, you can blast it out to thousands and thousands of people. And then they and then in turn, you've got a whole city, hey, you know, this is what's occurring over in Montgomery County. This is what's occurring in the city, and it's not happening. And I just don't want to detract from the real focus of what we're trying to do here at, uh, at HPD with human trafficking. And there's a lot going on this time of the year anyway. I mean, it, it kind of peaks a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, the things that happen, sometimes the holidays just bring out, uh, this time of the year with money being spent, packages being left, and we have these porch pirates, for example, that's going on, that's a real challenge, and we've got laws that have been increased to make the, the penalty a little bit worse, but it's still going on, and it makes it a real challenge for not only uh, Vice, everybody. I mean, robberies this time of the year, it goes up. What kinds of advice do you give people to tell them to avoid this kind of stuff? Uh, as far as the specifically like the porch bandits right. or things of that nature, I want to know your surroundings, your packages. If you have a neighbor you can leave them with, that's great. They can take them in. If you can have them delivered to your work, mm -hmm. that's another great, you know, another uh, opportunity and an option to do right. instead of just leaving them out there. One of the things about Crime Stoppers is you are an organization, you do so many different things, you impact so many different areas as it relates to crime in our communities. That's an area where you also have uh, an opportunity and an ability to tell, give people good advice about how they can avoid their own things being yeah, stolen. Yeah, and it's focusing on what's really happening. So jugging is an issue here. Robberies are an issue. Porch pirates, as we said. We want people to be aware, even holiday scams, charity scams, all of this is stuff we'll see this season. So become aware of that so you can change your behavior to make sure that you are not impacted by crime. And of course, we never blame the victim ever, 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 but we can you know, contribute to our safety, and we want people to take the proper steps to keep themselves safe. This whole uh, process of having people more aware of what goes on, a lot of the stuff is common sense, isn't it? 
Yes and no, but if you think that this never happens, a lot of people say, well, this doesn't happen in our neighborhood, or this doesn't happen in our school, or this just doesn't happen, period. And then it happens, and sometimes they, they're they blaming law enforcement, or they're blaming the, the neighbor, or the, the post office, or, you know, it, it, w the responsibility falls on all of us, and we all have a role to play in, in our community safety. We were talking earlier before we started taping about sometimes those positive stories of people who are trapped in quote human human trafficking situations or prostitution those kinds of things and they can get out and there is a positive side if they get the right kind of help and that's a good part of what you do in vice you're not just locking people up you're trying to solve those issues. really i mean when i got to vice i didn't know anything about uh, human trafficking but really the focus has been you know we have the law enforcement aspect and we have great leaders in the city who want to put these traffickers behind jail forever um, but the victim component, where we, 10 years ago we used to arrest the women or the men who were engaged in this, now we offer them the therapy and the hope to move from the, the victim to the survivor and the overcomer, uh, that transition. But it's almost like a social work, I hate to use that term, but it's so social work with, my, with the personnel that we, you know, our HPD personnel, because we're focusing and we have investigators that will track and, and talk to that victim throughout the whole process years down the road to make sure that he or she is receiving the help and uh, transitioning in a positive manner. And one of the things about the trafficking part, it there's that crime, but there's so many other crimes associated that just spread out as a result of that that you're concerned about. Absolutely, and and a lot of the the stuff that the girls, oftentimes the girls are forced to do, in, in terms of at the hand of their traffickers, um, just the criminal empire, the, the 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 severity of crime is changing, the nature of crime is changing in our area, and it's impacting everybody equally, young and old. Um, it doesn't matter again, as I said, where you live. So it is just our call to action. You know, we want people to dive in. We want we want people to understand. We don't want people to run off with the myths. We don't want people to be paranoid. Um, Houston is an incredible city. We have incredible leadership. We have incredible um, law enforcement that's doing wonderful work, and, and we just want to play our part. We too. want to put the information, contact information for Crime Stoppers for Houston and for HPD Vice, if we can put that information on our website so people can call you if they have issues instead of believing what they hear on the internet, okay? That would be great. Absolutely. Okay, Ryan Mikaris, Commander Dale, thank you thank for you. coming in. Appreciate we appreciate you coming you. in.